we will show you how to insert a copper tea. Now the first we need to know the instruments used to insert a copper tea. We first need a ring forceps or a sponge holding forceps with which we use to clean the area. Then we use a sim speculum. We can also use a cuscose but preferably a sim speculum should be used along with an anterior vaginal wall retractor. Then we need something to hold the cervix and we can use a valsalum or we can use a tenaculum to hold the cervix. We use a uterine sound to measure the length of the utero cervical canal and we need a scissors to cut the thread of the copper tea and of course we also need a copper tea. Now very important when we insert, this is a copper tea 380A, very important to know or to understand is we use a no touch technique to maintain sterility. So the copper tea as you can see has a horizontal limb and a vertical limb. The horizontal limb has to be inserted before opening the packet into the inserter. So this thing is called an inserter. This is the plunger and this blue thing is used to demarcate the utero cervical length. So before opening using our hands, our fingers inside the packet only while the copper is inside the packet we insert the horizontal limbs into the plunger. So here you can see a preloaded copper tea where the horizontal limbs have been introduced inside the plunger and now we open the copper tea packet and take it out. So this is the copper tea. The next thing we have to do is we have to measure the uterocervical length. So we put in the speculum, we retract the anterior vaginal wall, visualize the cervix and hold the anterior lip of the cervix with a valsalum or a tenaculum. After doing this, we insert the uterine sound and measure the uterocervical length. So if you see here, we introduce the uterine sound and we measure the uterocervical length and the same measurement is then adjusted here. So you can see this is where we adjust this. So we get the uterocervical length. We then introduce the plunger inside the inserter and then we are now ready to insert the loaded copper tea. Now remember the technique of insertion is called the withdrawal technique and this is important to prevent perforation of the uterus. So we introduce the copper tea inside the uterine cavity and because the length has been adjusted prior what we now do is we simply withdraw the plunger over the, the inserter over the plunger so that the arms get released within the uterine cavity and then we simply take out both the plunger and inserter together. Property inserted inside the uterine cavity and what we do in the end is we just cut off the thread so that we retain around 2.5 centimeters of thread beyond the now this is the copper tea with a cut thread and we let the patient feel the copper tea thread so she knows how to check for the copper tea